Right, hi, Year 12. Um, hi. This is me and Miss Ballard just looking through some Year 13 sketchbooks to just give you an idea of um, different sort of techniques and things you can do with your personal investigations. So we'll have a look through. Okay, so uh, this first student, her topic was emotions and these are her initial ideas, her mood board with her artists. And then she went straight into her own photographs and she incorporated some of the artist styles onto her own photos showing continual lines. She's got a really strong photo shoot as a starting point, really expressive. And as we said quite a bit to you, that having a really good quality photo shoot in the first place really gives you like that sort of confident starting point. So she definitely got that. You can see they're really good photos. Okay, and then next artist, Joaquim Roman. So really sort of collage based and graffiti based. And then that's her photo shoot taken in the studio. Nice um, use of studio lighting. So she started to explain her ideas and the emotions she's trying to convey in her photographs. Good old <laughs> okay. And then she started to use screen printing. So yeah. these are screens we already had. Mm -hmm. Is that right? With patterns? Yeah, yeah. Bit, bringing in a bit of mixed media now. So she's trying to put the two sort of ideas together. And then adding her little shapes and just personalising it a bit more, getting more and more confident with materials. She did absolutely hundreds of these prints. I think yeah. you saw when you came in the room, they're all over the floor. Um, some of you saw that. So she's just getting confident with the processes, really, until she's found you know something yeah. she's really happy with. So she started to work back back into the screen prints with her own drawings. Okay, and then emulsion transfer. So she tried the emulsion tr transfer technique. Um, maybe try and get away from using felt tips for this to make it look a bit neater. Yeah. So emulsion transfer. So there's development. She's developing these boards. She started to bring in her, her collage and graffiti on top of those images, the emulsion transfer images. Now, this is where I think the development steps up quite a bit because she's obviously gone digital here. Um, she is looking more at line. She's kind of taking away a lot of stuff and minimising it a bit more, which looks more refined. Um, so that, that quality of her sort of development is really clear here. She um, started to bring in textiles and, and sew, sewing into the images. Yeah. And then these have been photographed um, on the negative um, control on the photocopier. So it's the reverse. And then these are some of her final outcomes where she's brought in all of her development, all of her skills. These are, so. You can see the stitching in these. And I think they were really successful. Because, and also the back of them, if you turn them around. Yeah, they're all, they're all laminated. So almost like two, two images, the line. One, one piece. Very simple. Okay, the stitching brings out the image, doesn't it? Yeah. It frames, frames the actual portrait. But the definite skill there, I mean, apart from the mixed media and the experimentation, is definitely um, great photos from, from the start. Yeah. So I think that's really helped. Okay. So we're going to have a look at, just quickly, another... I think some of you have seen this, some of these books before, because I, I do show them quite yeah, a lot. These, these they're brilliant. Quite, but... quite a few years ago. So um, the topic is isolation. Yeah, so, so that's quite... It's a good mind map um, mood board. Topical, obviously. Artist page. She's gone straight into her skills. So these are these are little boards, and she's just using emulsion, but text. She is textured. Mm. So this has got thread running through it. That's actually fabric with emulsion, and she's probably used polyfiller. I don't know to thicken thicken it up. Okay, so burning images, sticking them on burnishing them what you'll see in this one is a real depth of like um exploring like this is someone who's tried absolutely absolutely every media you can find under the sun to try and like just look at different textures shapes forms compositions she's really sort of you can see how this is an in-depth thorough study and really confident use of materials all the way through it's almost like she's trying new techniques that she's never tried. And yeah. she's, she's developing them even more. What she hasn't done is said, I really like this artist and I'm going to try and do the same thing. It's definitely, yeah. this gives yeah. you the feeling of an artist exploring her own thing 
but using our other artists just to sort of um, reference and look at. So these are her own photographs that she's taken of decay and, and uh, rust and, and wallpaper peeling off, paint peeling off, and she's tried to recreate them in, the, in her own work. There's a lot of thread running through her images, charcoal. So again, she's not sort of said, okay, I really like abstract work, but what can I possibly take photos of? She's thought, I want to find shapes. So actually looking at the sky is a really good starting point because it's quite minimal. There's not a lot there, but it's that sort of thinking outside the box of what can I possibly use to inspire my work that I think she's done really successfully. So she's looked at Gerard Richter and she started using um, cardboard or squeegees over her work and just blending it blending it over the top of her images. And she's gone much more into pattern, so using acetate. These are beautiful, these are. That is just, that is just biro with tonal shading. And she's, take, she's taken those sketches and she's translated them onto a lino. And then from the lino, the development goes into the printing and then working into the print. So she's started actually um, sewing into the actual print using, that's an old map that she's used. She's painted over a map. And this is very, very minimal. Using inks onto fabric. I mean, this is really high standard, but it's, it's really conceptual. Yeah, this is an A-star book, I could tell you that, because it's yeah. from years and years ago. Yeah, yeah. So it's just development, 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 all the way through. And then she starts working to a larger scale. So these are similar to before, but she's, she's using her sketches onto a lino and then working back into the images. Okay. Okay. So um, we'll leave it then. We could have, a, actually, we'll have a really quick look at this one just because we, I know you've seen it before. We'll literally just flick through this book because it, this is almost like a side book that links to her other one. So this is showing you, you know, we say it's not.